Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want to part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so oh, I had to fire look him. At Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant his wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The wow. kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Going off script with Say, the slap, but I like she it. She just smacked me? That anger red. Listen. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? Nah. Ugh. See, this has been going on for years. Get oh, down! Finally, we get some revenge! All these years! All these years, you think cause you were MMA star? I've been waiting to whoop your ass! Mm. Huh. Lay it down! Lay it down! Get up! Get up! I've been waiting to whoop your ass! Ooh, you remember? You remember at BCW? Yeah, you remember! Yeah, you remember! Get up! I ain't done with you! I ain't done with you! Hey, what you doing? Ha! Ah! Deep, deep, does that take you back in the Ah! No, I can't lose after I got this opportunity. Help. Ah. Finally, I can reverse now. Get your hands off of me. All these years, I've been waiting to get my hands on you. <laughs> so ass over there. Look at you, a fool, a fool. Get up. Oh. How can she? A cutter. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Ugh. No. Oh. Good God, bruh. Was so honest. Ah, smack to the chest. Weave. Sit, 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 sit. Huh. Come on now. Come on now. Get over there. Well, is this for me? For little old me. Beautiful, beautiful. What you thought this was? Get up. Get up, I ain't done with you. Get up, I ain't done with you. Huh. To the back of the head. Come here. Come here. Still ain't done with you. Huh. Into the power bomb position. Huh. Walking all the way over. This is gonna wash away the taste of the power bomb. Time in Park City. Hey, finish it. Say, say no more. Say no more. I've been waiting. I've been waiting on this. Ugh. I ain't tripping. I get to whoop your ass some more. All these years. All these years. And I just couldn't wait to get my damn hands on you. Get your ass back down. I don't think our get your ass down. Get your ass down. I missed a little bit. That's because I'm just angry. 
Get your ass down. Sit down. Finally get to take out all that hanger on you. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Want some more? You want some more? Forget the stick. Danger, the danger Forget the stick. Huh. To the back of the head. It's time to end this. This for all them years that you done pissed me off. Huh. Lay down the X Plex. Yeah, fool. Don't ever disrespect me. I give a damn if you were MMA star. No. Help! Ah, she's got me in the leg lock, the ankle lock. Tap, tap out. Don't tap. tap. Don't tap. Damn you! Damn you! And scene, just like old times. <laughs> So even when we win, we still lose? <sighs> that is wild. That is beyond me. Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no <laughs> henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh. Ah! Uh, security! Help me, security please! Intruder on the set. No way! Get him, Miz! You want to run it? Get him! Oh yeah, I'ma whoop him right in front. Wash away Ugh. the taste of shame from the last time in Park City. Out of here with that, fool! Oh yeah, what's up, Matt? What's up, Matt? Oh, they done messed up today. Is that a sledgehammer? Oh, miss! Ugh. Ugh. Lay it down. You know what? Come here. Come, 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 come here. Huh. Into the power bomb position. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Damn! Back of the head going straight through the table there. Yeah! Get your ass over there. Huh. Do you know what I taste? Another table! Oh, oh yeah, steel chair, just for me? Just for me? Ugh. Huh! Gonna come over here when I'm doing my movie? My dream, huh? You gonna come over here and try to stop me from doing my dream? Lost your damn mind. Sit your ass down. What's wrong with you? You lost all your marbles. Sit down. Yeah. Get up. Get up. Get your ass over there. Don't make no damn sense. A baseball bat. A, a baseball a baseball bat. All those haters Sit down. Park City. This will show them. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Don't you? Oh yeah, we moving on to the kingdom stick. I said we moving on to the kid. Dog. Why can't I get the kindle stick? Here we are. Sit so ass back down. Ain't nobody say you get up. Ugh. Ugh. I I'd like to drag him, if you will. No. This is the realest thing I've ever seen. Get up. It's time to end this, miss. It's time to end this. <sighs> ah! Woof! You up? Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Get your ass into that wall. Onto his neck. 
We're moving on with the kingdom Is anyone filming this? Is anyone? Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. Good God. Get up. Get up. Lay it down. You still here? Beyond me. I don't have an OMG. Oh well. Huh. Gotta be joking, man. Ah! Oh, I can't wait to show this to my wife. Maybe Lobby. Her love again. Ugh. You know, if there's one thing I'll say, I don't understand what was the point of adding that, that minor shit. Like, you literally can't reverse anything until that goes away. Like, I don't even understand how that even makes any type of fucking sense. But anyways... Damn hands off me. Ugh, oh my god. Ah, you're fighting back. Lay it down. Moving on back to the base, my Ah. Lay it down. Lay it down. Get Outta that here with guy that. Off my set. I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to my trailer and I am not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's lunch. Ms. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. Yeah. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Y'all ain't stopping, man. Y'all ain't stopping, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. Mm. Mm. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring, and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This Bit. will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Say Sequels no more. No. But me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. <laughs> You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. 
I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Nah, I knew you were scared. Enough. I knew you were scared. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So, if you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a Light movie work. star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. Yeah. What you want to do about it? What you going to do about it? Nothing. You're not going to do nothing. This is such an intriguing matchup, but you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky get over that there. didn't happen. Because from what I heard about their audition <laughs> dust-up, it's no match for Brooklyn. Look oh, yeah? You think I'm go. no match? Anyways. Perched up top. Ah! Knee drop. The elbow. Oh, drop with authority. She's been on the offensive Stay down. for a little while now. She's a live wire when she's plugged in. Yeah. To the back of the head. Ooh, what impact. She's starting to look concerned. Stop it. Just stop it. Again. Yeah. Come on. Come on. It looks Come like on. it might all be over. Lay it down. Woo! I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. Oh, you think you're pretty funny? And scene. Help! Edge kiss DDT. Uh, uh. No! No! Again! She strikes again! Man, forgive Maurice. Somebody let me whoop her ass, man! Let me, let me with Brooklyn's ass, bruh. Let me with Brooklyn's ass. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all scrams. Get down. Get the hell out of here, man. That's what, that's what I, that, that, that's, that's who ass I want to be right there. That's who ass I want to be right there. It's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton. Oh, y'all think y'all pretty funny, huh? Okay. Okay, last person that left at me, it didn't end so well. Ooh, Brooklyn, she's got to go down. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta do it. I, I, just, I just can't resist. I just can't resist going in you know, a match with Odie. I gotta give you the smack! Woo! Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you wanna reverse. No. Get your punk ass has up. To go through something like this to get a role that should have already been his. He is one of the greatest actors of our time. I don't know about Smack. that, but I do know that this lights, camera, yeah. action, ladder yeah. match is going to, to the be other a corner. smash hit with audiences and critics. Smack. Worldwide. Saxon, why uh. do you treat this like we're at the movie? Suplex. Can you move? Move your dead body yeah, next suplex. time. He continues to press forward. He's got a boatload of energy. Let's see if it lasts. The man is looking a little startled right now. It'll take more punishment than that to keep him from the top of the lap. Look out! The dead man drop. Get some punk ass. The Miz has an overblown ego when he calls himself the A-lister, but he really doesn't. One, two, three, four. What the hell? It's Joe. Oh, I had a feeling that was the most Joe thing song. Do you blame her? She wants Miz to win so she can have a legitimate co star in the movie. And here's Red to stop. Brooklyn That's what I like to see. Get a little revenge. Get a little into the Titantron. Yeah. So now she's taking it out on her. That's what I like to see. That's some uh, some revenge in this revenge in this piece. Come back here. Come back here. Hey, yeah, you go, Red. You go. What's that, partner? Get out of here. In this match, now's my chance. 
They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. <sighs> He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Don't do it, don't do it. Lay your oh, ah! ah! oh, right to the Fuck. gut. Hands up off of me. Before I come at you, one of the Hey, 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 you tried it. You tried it, boy. You tried it. Onto the. Never mind. Ugh. Exit my premise. Exit my prim. One more time. Exit my premises. Good God. The ladder is up. Up, up, and away. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't That's get to hit the one of them. Climbing up the ladder. Trying to seek a victory here. Going for it all. Okay, Interesting timing okay, to say the man. least. Been kicked right to the gut. <sighs> No! 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 Woo! Masterful execution by the Miz. Coming up the ladder! What you think you're doing? What the it's hell you think you're doing? What the? Timing of this move. The hell do you think you're doing? <sighs> Here we go! Uh, huh, huh. Oh, uh, I don't like the way you're waiting on me. We've got a climber. What's up, partner? Ugh. Get your ass off. Talk about throwing caution. Oh, to the oh, you better. Oh, you better. Heads up the ladder. Damn, you need stamina to climb down now? An incredible range of emotions here. Hands off me. No one knows what's gonna happen next. Rocket kick! That ought to put you out. That ought to put you out. No way he can still climb that ladder. Now time for me. Gonna reach out and try to grab the briefcase. Come on. I want you to climb this ladder. I want you to climb this ladder. What's happening? What's happening there? Stop. Huh? Going as high mm -mm. as possible mm -mm. here, guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I want him dead. Up, up, and away. Finish you. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole, and not a very well calculated one either. You don't listen. What an A list Ow. knee strike by the Miz. Back in the ring again. The ascent begins. Ah, 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 ah. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Get your ass down. Get your... Get your ass down. This can't bode well. Turn around. The Lariat. Now you can excuse me. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a roll to win. Uh. Here he goes, guys, looking for the win. I think it's going to happen right now. And the victory here would be. So You're a little too late. You're a little too late. No Just like that. This is a huge night for Trey. Yeah. Future Hall of Fame yeah. Pressure filled, high stakes ladder match at the biggest party in this. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, Trey deserves the role and our respect. Now that's nice, but as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file four. Sorry, Brooklyn. I'll just have to catch you in your next film.
Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow, didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> really? Because that's not how I remember it. Check it out! My first action figure! Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail in your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well... You know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. <laughs> Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing <laughs> titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? Wait, that's pretty funny. I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! I oh, think you're pretty funny. Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he jerks and if I had an action figure of my own I'd team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts or even better how about we take them down in real life huh oh yeah I guess we could do that nah bro it's not the same I need the action figures man shit WWE superstars end up facing each other in the ring for a variety oh. of reasons tonight Red and Trey are squaring off with Rusev and Lana because of well Ugh. action figures. Ugh. But from what I thought, Trey was throwing a tantrum because he didn't get an action figure and then was apparently offended Shut up. when Shut Rusev up. and Lana tried hey, to graciously give him theirs. Hey, I can relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I gonna get my own action figure? Never, never ever, because nobody Neck wants breaker. that Saxton. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Whoa, he picked up steam and shows no signs of letting up. Yeah, backflip. Get your attention. Yeah, like what you see, Lana. Yeah. This is a woman who studies the Israeli defense system. Known as problem. He thought he was gonna make that tag. Did you, did you, did you think he was gonna make that tag? And he might make that tag. Never mind. Marketing. So I don't think you'll be able to outthink the ravishing. DDT. I don't think he wants to be in oh, that corner, joking, Byron. Man. Yeah, but he's not moving, Michael. Smack! Show ass over there. Smack! Again! Gotta finish it off. Oh, Neck breaker. Back breaker. Ow! Look out! Mm. Mm. Oh, the, the dead the man top. drop. Lana's an incredibly cunning individual. It's highly unlikely an adversary will be able to what defeat the, the ravishing Russian when it comes to strategy. Yeah. Lana takes every detail into consideration. I'm, and I'm, thinks I'm, three I'm or still four here. Steps ahead of her opponent. It's not wise for a superstar to attack. I'm sleep. And I'm still, here. And I'm still here. And I'm still here. And I'm still here. Okay, I, I see what this is gonna be. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, here are your winners. Huge victory here tonight. I'm thinking everyone should be very weary of this duo. Boy, I don't.
In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey. You deserve it. Like how... You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. So, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So, I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There wow. would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Oh, what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, the Iconics. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Unfortunately. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why Australia is Better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, Where did let's it come go from? over the laws of cricket, I shall we? I didn't see it back there. There Was are it back only there? 42 of them. Shouldn't Maybe take wasn't long. Mm. Law 1. A cricket team consists of 11 Maybe players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, Law 2. Oh, yes, yeah, us. Hey, what are these oh, two yeah, doing us. Here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now? 
<laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and gray? <laughs> I think you're pretty funny. You so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before. So what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match. And I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay. So you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, oh, wow. they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. She ain't gonna put my girl Mickey out. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three. Never interrupt the Iconics. Can we, can we, can we? What you doing? Ugh. The Iconics Help. viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so. They violated law three. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. If you're just joining us, this is a nine title match with the stipulation that if Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics, they earn a shot yeah. at their tag Get team up. titles. Get However, up. if the Iconics win, Mickey James' career more than life, be baby. Over. And Red and Mickey are clearly not 100% after Picking that the brutal kidneys. attack by the Iconics. Oh, yeah, get it up, get it up. Like a James cutter. Come to an end, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling yeah. it'll be sooner, as in tonight, at the yeah. hands of the tag team champions. Power bomb, baby! power bomb! Looking bad for her here. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath ah. in the corner. Impactful slam, stringing together some big moves here. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, Elbo. no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. Born in Australia, Peyton Royce's path to WWE saw her travel many miles, <sighs> including to the, the back of the head. Alberta, Canada, where, like many before her, Peyton honed her craft Shut up. before ultimately joining WWE. Shut up. I'm gonna talk to the people in the back. Shut up! That was nasty. So precise. Another cutter. Oh, again. Oh, here we go. DDT. She reverses it. Hey, showing such creativity. Uh oh. Hands off of me. Another reversal. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. <sighs> It's obvious Billy Kay is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. And the cover for the win! One, One two, two, three! And that's it! This one is over! Just like that, baby! Title match just like that, baby! Here are your winners! An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive... That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right. Dang, in our gonna great lose on country, own turf. in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter. We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What yeah, whatever that means. does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, 
tornado tag. Or What's happening Willy there? Willy tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes. You know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> Damn, y'all, y'all just... Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this damn show on the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, wrestling. yeah. We finna win them yeah. tag titles, baby. Ow. Ow. Tag team championship match. All right. And don't forget, Red and Mickey have right. the added pressure of Mickey's career being on the line. Ugh. This chapter of Mickey's Hold life. On. Didn't I say this is a. Oh. Officially over. Oh. That's a little bit. We shouldn't ignore the fact what that. What the hell are you doing? Win women's tag chips. Came out here like you were to do something. Sit down. And she has a very successful track record when it comes to achieving her goals. Came out like do something. Incredible. There was a lot of force Sit behind that one. Sit down. Again. Sit down. Keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? I ain't done. I ain't done. That's the impact. Champ taking the worst of yeah. the exchange. There it is. Boom. Nice. Get in there. Bringing it back into the ring. Elbow. Nice. That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Get in trampling the opposition. Red goes yeah. to the Irish whip. Huh. Get sent into the ah. instead. No. Now, Help. Mickey. Iconics. Help. Before Mickey. Help. Mickey. Oh. This does not look good for Red and Mickey. And by extension, uh. Mickey's career. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? What y'all getting? Oh, I think it's time for a game of Paddle. Oh. <laughs> this is not going to happen twice. This is not going to happen twice. Tell me this is not gonna happen twice. Red and Mickey yes! Get out of here with that! For what took place you take it! Smackdown Live. And since Australian rules is no disqualification, it's perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. Oh yeah, we get to keep it? Look, we get Mickey to keep it? I'm gonna whoop your ass! That's twice now. Whoop her ass, Mickey! Yes, really whoop her ass! That, huh? I'm sorry about that. Oh, whoop her ass, Mickey! Whoop her ass, Mickey! Man, she really knows yeah, how your turn! Huh? Your ass out! The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Oh. Yeah, get her ass, Mickey! Oh. Oh. Yeah, trade! Yeah! So I'm in this. Oh, I'm it. Sit down. As I was saying before, you saw really interrupted me. Oh, I'm itching for it. Oh, I'm itching for it. Come on, itching to put you out. Over here, Mickey. Mickey, can you let it go? Mickey, Mickey. Look at that. She escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. Appreciate that. Not Woo! only has Red helped Mickey James ward off retirement, they're now the new women's tag team champions. To win this match under the pressure they faced and do it in any Would territory. you look at that? Under the iconics rules, Would you look at impressive. that? Honestly, I think a lot of credit goes to Red and her list. Like I said. Match, that list is a powerful motivational tool for Red. Like yeah, I said, baby. Me, nah, it couldn't have been you. Probably was cold. <sighs> now we gotta do is find out what's inside the Taker's iron. When the dance off, come. Who be the champion? Well, I guess it's SmackDown. The Royal Rumble and the Dusty Classic. And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. 
She was now my tag team partner, and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do. Dang, we'd have Hang four. on a second. Earlier, you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. Uh, nah. Mickey went on to defeat Kyrie Sane, giving her two championships and continuing her incredible winning streak to avoid retirement. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Dang, Look, you calm advice, down, me. I see two ways for you to get what you want, but the first option <clears throat> wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like McFoley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Hey, let me tell you something. Man, we're not finna... We're not finna intentionally lose. Look, we finna do this like how Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair did it, alright? Shawn Michaels had to put Ric Flair out, alright? That's what I'm finna do to Mickey James. That's what I'm finna do to Mickey James right now. I can't, I can't just lose on purpose. Nah, 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 nah. Then have a... Have a... You know, retire like that? Nah, 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 nah. She gonna go out with a title match. With a title match. Like, what? Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal. Sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Uh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title... And I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will, sooner rather than later, I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all of that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> You know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. Any other way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall, baby. It is for the SmackDown Women's Championship.
Introducing months ago, Hi, essentially Mickey. resuscitated her idol Mickey James career. <sighs> After issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now uh. cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. Pick me up. Ask me, Red's being extremely well selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how to approach her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she Another would want to be to Red. Well, I for one will never understand that. Looking stunned, looking rocked. She seems to have gained the advantage here. She's yeah. got the skill and the stamina to really do yeah. some damage here. Ooh. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. <sighs> to the back of the head. Uh-oh. Oh. Gonna see it. Power bomb. To the back of the head again. Oh, again. Where you going, friend? Where you going? My fault. Oh, it is aggressive ah. in the corner. Yeah. Ah. Boot right in the jaw. You have to put me like that. Help. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that was rude. I the mean, I don't know what you think is going to happen First here, but, uh, Nothing but air on that one. No. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. A cutter. Bang, cutter. Some hard offense landing on kick the Kick to champ. the back. She may have underestimated Another the kick to the back. Time. Mickey James appears to be on her last legs. I'm sorry. Red Mick kick! Is this the end for Mickey James? What you doing? One, two, three! Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end. Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute continuing to defend the tag championship and not ending your idol's career. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey. Well. And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really <laughs> starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. You look pretty mad. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. By the way, I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were, um, uh, intriguing. Interesting. 
That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch. Why am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! B no, before you go any further, <coughs> anyway, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate. I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul, I'm, I'm serious. And so am I, dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Brock Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there's only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being, your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. What happened there? It's kind of creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time after your match, all I heard was boo! Assuming wow. you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find the Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I don't know. Seriously? You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. 